Ladies and gentlemen, longtime viewers of my channel know that I have been using a Garmin Mini for my adventure-related emergency communication needs for a few years now. This little device lets me send text and email messages from anywhere and it makes it easy to get reliable emergency medical help or evacuation should the need arise. I have been using this even though it is slow and I might have to wait 10 or 15 minutes for one of the Garmin satellites to float overhead so the signal can get through. And I have been using it even though it limits me to sending only text messages and emails unless I press the send helicopter button but that is reserved only for very special occasions. And even in that situation, there might be a substantial delay before the send helicopter message actually gets through. But now Tim Apple has invented a new iPhone, which also allows me to send messages and get help via the satellites floating in the firmament. However, just like with the Garmin, using the iPhone to send messages or to get help is slow. And not only do you have to get out of the cozy comfort of your vehicle to send a message via the satellite, you also have to stand there looking like a dork, aiming the phone at the exact right spot in the firmament, hoping, hoping for a satellite to float by so that your urgent message can finally get through. And the iPhone also limits what I can send via the satellites. But now I have something even better, which I will elaborate on momentarily. But before I go any further, allow me to take a moment of your very valuable time to disconfoculate everyone on what I mean when I use the word emergency or when I refer to emergency communications in this context. When I use that word, I am not referring to shit hit the fan type emergencies such as hurricanes, earthquakes, or the dreaded zombie apocalypse. Nay, I am referring to when you are out adventuring far from civilization and far from any cell phone services and something unpleasant happens resulting in you or someone you are with needing urgent medical care or becoming lost or stranded and needing immediate rescue. Now it is at this point in the video where some People who have probably never actually left their basement or their couch and gone out adventuring in the great outdoors, they will leave stupid comments proclaiming, proclaiming that all they need to do is bring a ham radio to call for help. My friend, not only is that wrong, but that is stupid. That is a stupid, stupid thing to say. Allow me to elaborate. Relying on a ham radio, a GMRS radio, or any kind of two-way radio will require a few things before they can actually do you any good. A, for most long-range radio communications, you must be within range of a nearby repeater, and your radio must be pre-configured to use that Pacific repeater. And most importantly, there must be someone with a radio at the other end listening to that same repeater and waiting for your cries for help. And that person must also be willing and actually capable of getting you the help that you so desperately crave. There is also a type of ham radio that us ham radio experts refer to as an HF radio, which can talk around the world in certain conditions and from optimal locations. But this type of radio is generally very large and very heavy and requires a large antenna. And it can take time to reach anyone and even longer to find someone willing and actually able to help you. So as you no doubt probably now understand, relying on any kind of a two-way radio to get help in a real adventuring emergency type situation would be what us radio experts refer to as stupid. So in my never-ending quest to find the best emergency communications solutions, not only for my off-roading adventures, but also for you, I have found what might just be the perfect solution. And that perfect solution is this new, new Starlink Mini, Mini satellite internet service thingy invented by Elon Musk. As you can see, mine is in a protective mounting case, which I will elaborate on momentarily. This new Starlink mini dish is different from the previous generation of Starlink hardware as it is much smaller, hence the name mini, and it is all self-contained 
in this smaller, more portable form factor. The satellite dish itself and the Wi-Fi hardware is all right here. The only other thing required is a power source, and that can be any power source from 12 to 48 volts of the DC variety. I will discuss that more momentarily. This miracle of modern technology allows me and, and everyone else in my group that I give the password to, it allows us to all send email, send iCloud messages, make video calls, and even regular phone calls if their phone supports Wi-Fi calling, which all real phones do. Not only that, it also lets everyone in the group catch up on their office work, surf the web, watch YouTube videos, or even watch their favorite flavor of pornography while we are in the middle of nowhere and off-roading. And I do not mean when we're pulled off to the side of the trail. I mean whilst we are actually rock crawling, plowing through protected wetlands or whatever, and even whilst driving in our very large and very unstable Jeeps on the freeways at 80 miles an hour. I stick my Starlink Mini on the hood of my Jeep using the previously mentioned magnetic mount this allows me to very quickly and very easily slap it on and pull it off. I got this magnetic mount cage from the Amazon and it costs about $80 of monies. Affiliate link below. Now I am sure that some people will leave comments proclaiming, proclaiming that I should not put my Starlink Mini on the hood of my Jeep and they will decree that it will not work there because it should only be mounted on the roof. And they would be correct if not for the fact that, number one, they are stupid, and number C, they are wrong. The Starlink Mini works just fine on the hood, and as you can see, my download speeds are just fine when using it on the hood. I was even able to make a FaceTime call to my friend Conrad, the chef, from the middle of nowhere and whilst in a fairly narrow and deep canyon whilst the Starlink Mini was on the hood of my very manly Jeep. Conrad, can you hear me? Out loud and clear. I'm in the desert in the middle of nowhere. Look where I am. I know, how are you getting signal? I'm using the amazing new Starlink. I will put a Google map link to the exact spot where I was when I made that video call in the information section below so that you can see for yourself how remote and far away from civilization I was. Basically, all you need to do is slap the dish somewhere on your vehicle where it can see the sky and give it 12 to 48 volts of DC electricities. You can plug it into your cigarette lighter or power it from a USB-C's port. The dish sucks about 20 watts of electricities most of the time and has momentary peaks of around 40 watts so a USB-C's can power it just fine. I power my Starlink Mini with this 80,000 milliamp hour power pack. This battery pack is small and lightweight and it lasts around 12 hours with the Starlink running and I can easily recharge it by plugging it into the cigarette lighter of my very manly Jeep. I choose to use this battery instead of just plugging the Starlink directly into the cigarette lighter of my Jeep because I do not want that additional drain on my battery, and because using this small battery pack allows me to very easily grab the Starlink and go mount it outside of the Jeep somewhere if needed. I also got this from the Amazon, and it costs about $120 of monies. Affiliate link below. Now I know that many of you are probably mumbling to yourself, but I'm not good with tech and it looks complicated. My friend, stop using that as an excuse for being lazy. Because if you can read words and if you can tap things on the screen of your phone, then you can set up a Starlink Mini. From out of the box to surfing the web and looking at pornography, it took me about five minutes. You do not have to aim the dish at any certain way in the sky or anything, although if you do, it will work better, but generally, you just point it towards the sky, plug it in, and then it just works. It is all very, very simple. Setting one up does not require anything techy. It just requires five minutes of your attention and the ability to read. As I mentioned only moments ago, the Starlink Mini does work while driving, even whilst wobbling down the freeway in my very manly Jeep at 
80 miles an hour. And when we are out on the trails going 5 or 10 miles an hour, it works even better. The only time mine has ever lost connectivity, and even then it was very brief, was when we were at the bottom of a very deep and very narrow canyon and the dish did not have a clear view of the sky. And that is one of the reasons why I wanted to use this battery pack to keep mine portable, so that if in the million to one chance that I had gotten stuck in the bottom of that very narrow canyon, I could just grab the dish and the power pack and crawl up to the top of the canyon so that I could call for help or, you know, watch porn videos. As I alluded to only moments ago, you connect your phone or your iPad or your laptop to the Starlink via the Wi-Fi's, the exact same way you connect it to any Wi-Fi's. Just find it in the list, type in the password that you assigned during the very simple setup process, and you are done. Your phone will automatically reconnect to the Starlink whenever it gets within range. And when you are out adventuring many fars away from the big city, the Wi-Fi's range is several hundred yards. We actually measured it at about a half a mile once, but your Wi-Fi fars will vary. The cost for the new all-in-one Starlink Mini is not cheap, but my friend, can you really put a price on your safety or your ability to get porn from literally anywhere. If you want the new Starlink Mini, it will cost you about $700 of monies. Affiliate link below. And yes, there is a monthly fee. Starlink offers two mobile plans. One costs $50 of monies per month, and that will provide you with 50 gigabytes of data each month. That is the plan that I have. And so far, I have got nowhere near that monthly 50 gigabyte limit or gigabit limit, I forget which. And that's with everyone in my group using it when we go out every weekend. However, if you do manage to go over the limit by watching too many educational videos, you can opt in for more data for only $1 more per gigabyte. Starlink also has an unlimited data plan, but that's too expensive for me. You can also pause your Starlink service at any time so that if you know you won't be using it for a while, you do not have to pay for nothing. Now, as much as I love my new Starlink Mini, and even though it is perfect for my adventure, emergency communication, and pornography needs, it may not be perfect for everyone. Allow me to elaborate. For off-roading, camping, cross-country driving, and such, the Starlink Mini is probably perfect for most people. However, if you are a hiker or a horseback rider or a long distance runner, a Starlink is probably not the best choice and something smaller, such as the Garmin Mini or the Garmin Mini 2 is probably a better solution for you because of its small compact size. And whilst it is true that the Starlink Mini is a lot smaller than the previous Starlink models, it will not fit in your pocket the same way that the Garmin Mini can. The Garmin Mini may also be faster and easier to get critical emergency help when you need it immediately, like when you slide down a mountain and break both of your legs, or you get lost in a snowstorm, because all you need to be able to do is press one button and the helicopters come and get you. But for everyone else, and especially for me, which is all I really care about, the Starlink Mini is probably the best choice.